Hey everybody, it's me, Cody Wiesmiller here. Um, I haven't done a video in a while, so I've been trying to keep up with my schoolwork and work itself, my job. Uh, so I figured I'd come back and do a video for you guys on how to keep your live bait alive, particularly minnows. I experimented a lot with trying to keep my minnows alive, like keep, maybe keeping them outside, keeping them in the basement, changing their water, um, but I think I finally have it down and I have a few tips that can help you keep your live bait alive for the next day or even the next week. I've kept the minnows alive for over a week already with these few tips that I'm about to give you. So let's get to it. Tip number one, keeping your minnows cool. You want the water to be cool to the touch. If you think the water temperature is a little bit too warm, dump out about three quarters of your water and then add some new water to it or put some ice cubes in it. If you put some ice cubes in the water overnight and, you, and it's too cold outside to keep them in the garage where the whole middle bucket might freeze, put some ice cubes in the water, just enough to cover the top layer, you should be good to go. Second tip, use an aerator. This is an aerator by the three legends it runs on a 9 volt battery, which is going to help keep your minerals alive a lot longer, and the, the battery life is going to be a lot longer as well. Listen to this. A very healthy aerator. Uh, I've been using the same 9 volt battery for the whole season so far. When a lot of people use aerators, they kind of complain because it runs out of battery or it dies over a day. Well, that's because they're using it overnight. When you use an aerator, you really want to make sure that you're using it at the appropriate time. If your minnows are very lively, you don't need to use an aerator. That means there's enough oxygen in the middle bucket already. If your minnows are very sluggish, if they're not moving, then turn on the aerator. And if the aerator doesn't help, that usually means your water is too cold and you have to change your water. Tip number three, keep enough water in your middle bucket. If you have too less water, your minnows are going to run out of oxygen and they're not going to live very long. Sometimes fill your water just about an inch to the, br to the rim of your middle bucket. That's going to ensure that you have enough oxygen in the water to keep your minnows alive for quite a while. So here's another way that you can keep your minnows alive and this is how I keep my water fresh and oxygenated. Always change your water daily. If you can't change it daily, at least change it every other day just so you can have the confidence and you ensure that you have enough oxygen in there and the water is fresh. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the top off of my middle bucket here and inside there you have all the, you know, their waste and it's, they're acting really sluggish so that tells me right away that there's not enough oxygen in there and the water needs to be cleaned. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to dump out about three quarters of all of this water. Got a minnow in my bathtub. Okay, so I've got about three quarters of the water taken out. Now the minnows are going to be uh, wild because there's less oxygen and they're struggling to breathe. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to fill it about an inch up to the brim. And it's very important that you use the right water. Don't use your city water. Your city water has chlorine in it usually and it's not good for the minnows. Water from, from your dispenser, from a refrigerator, or your water from your bathtub is the best water you can use. And if you have a lake or a creek nearby, use that water. That's probably going to be the best situation. So now I'm going to put my minnow bucket in my bathtub. But before I do that, I'm going to turn the faucet on. I want to make sure the water is cool in the touch. I've got my water nice and cold and I'm going to just dump all the water in there and I'm going to fill it about an inch to the brim.
I'm going to put my middle bucket back in my five gallon bucket that I sit on for fishing. So now I have clean, fresh water that the minnows are going to live overnight with and I have the knowledge and the confidence that they are going to be alive for the next couple of days. Thank you guys. Check out my other videos. So please comment and subscribe. Thank you for watching.